Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate a little video and create a video for the end user to show you how the um, the shared gate access control works um, at a very cost-effective way. Um, I would expect the retail price to the end user for all the hardware to be about a thousand five hundred rand or thousand five hundred to two thousand rand, and um, plus an installation cost of let's call it another thousand rand. Um, you can contact us directly if you want more information um, or for an installer. Alternatively, we can teach you how to do it and you can save the installation fee. Anyway, um, what it consists of is either an old camera, I mean an old camera, an old cell phone, um, which you can load a bit of software on it um, called the EWILINK camera, um, which is this application that I've got running over here. Uh, you can see on your screen now, this is the, 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 the camera. Um, which is just a cell phone, like I say, you can buy one for a spa cell phone for about 250 Rand or 350 Rand at PIP, and you could utilize that if you don't have a second hand old one that's got a damaged screen that you could utilize to just use the camera. Um, everything connects via Wi Fi, so you either need a, a Wi Fi access point or Wi Fi within the vicinity. Alternatively, you can buy a Wi Fi router from us as well, which is also not very expensive. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you how this works. You'll see by default the camera is not functioning um, because it's saving power on the actual cell phone. Um, but you can connect up the power permanently. So back to my phone, I'm just going to find the application quickly over here. So the program is called EWILINK, this one over here. So I'm clicking on that on the phone and I'm opening that up. Now I want to go to my main gate, which is over here. So I click on that and now the video comes on. You can see on the actual cell phone with the camera, there it is, and you can see what's happening. I'm going to go back to the phone now with the EWI link on it. And as you can see, you can see the gates and you can see the entrance. And I could open the gate by clicking on this off button over here. So if I click on that, it goes on, which triggers the gate. And the gate is busy opening over there, as you can see it. Yeah, you'll see it a bit bigger. There yeah, you can see the gate opening. Okay. So the gate will automatically close based on the time on the gate. And that's the principle of how it works. Um, now I want to just go through a bit of the, few of the features um, on the gate itself. If you go to the top over there, there's a setting, uh, the settings. And um, looking down here, you can look at the, uh, first of all, to show you how you can assign people to it. I'm going to uh, the, the setting to share which is this one over here. So I click on share, my finger, and you can see that the shared people for this particular switch or for the gate at the moment are these two, it's myself and my daughter. Um, so you can add as many people as you want to this, and um, they just need to download the EWILINK application and give you their email address that they've utilized. And if you want to have a look at the logs and see who came in and who went out at any time, you can click on the logs down here, and you'll get the log history. So now you can see exactly what happened, who triggered the device at at what time. Um, so you can go through the history, whatever day you want to look at, and you can see who's opening the gates at 3 in the morning, as an example. So there's all your logs. I'm going to see how far back this goes. There we go. Yeah, that's gone as far back as the 7th of July, and so it goes on the 2nd of July. I'm not even sure how much history it keeps, but it keeps a lot. Um, let's see over here. So that's the 29th of June. So yeah, so there's an example of the logs. And there's the shares. And that's it. That's simple. So the idea and the principle behind it is that a person contacts you via WhatsApp um, when they're at your gate. And you can be anywhere in the world and you can have a look and see who's at the gate. Obviously, you'd make the camera be a bit closer, or at least the cell phone and uh, install it inside a box and just make a little hole for where the, the, where the lens is. Um, that, uh, that side of it is, well, everything is totally free as far as monthly fees go. Um, you'll just, if you need a router, you're obviously going to need some data, but you can connect it up with your own existing um, un uncapped internet if you want to. And that's it. Um, you've got a, a way of controlling, turning people off, turning people on, having a look at who opened the gate, and they can just click on the gate from anywhere and open the gate for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it interesting, please share it with others. 
and get back to us if you have any more questions.